Welcome back to Kids Playtime. Today we are going to be swapping this old school power wheels with a new style plug so we can use the new batteries in it. Uh, it'll work much better than the old batteries have a lot longer run time. Uh, and Kaylee's going to do most of it all by herself and show off her soldering skills and uh, see what she can do with some uh, amateur wiring. So you ready, ready to give it a shot? Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's do this. First, we're going to cut these wires. You want to cut near the black, but not, uh, you don't want to get too close to the black. Make sure you go part. all the way down on the wire cutters. Nope, not right there. You got to go one, one spot over. There you go. Yep, into there, under the blade. Perfect. There's one. There. Perfect. Now we have to strip them. You ready to strip them? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, to strip the wires, you're gonna put it right on here. Now this is a 12 gauge wire. So you're gonna put it in the spot that says 12. Then you're gonna pinch, twist, and pull it off. Now you have the exposed wire right there and it's ready to be soldered for the new one. Now we're gonna do it on the negative side, same thing. Pinch, twist, pull. I didn't twist enough. There we go. And that Just one's ready too. Are you ready to do some soldering, Kaylee? Mm-hmm. All right, let's see how you do with that. And this is the new battery that just came out a few years ago, and we're gonna use it on this. This is the new style plug uh, we are going to use. This allows the power wheels to connect to a new style battery, and it will last much longer, work better, and they're readily available. Um, you also put this shrink wrap over it, as Kaylee will show you right here. Um, this little tube, you just slide over the existing wire, and then once you solder the wire on the new connector to the old wiring on the power wheels, you slide it back over where you soldered to, and then it'll shrink over it and make it look really clean and professional. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to solder the wires. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to touch just the very end of the solder that's right there on the wiring. That's going to melt it. Make sure you don't touch the rubber, Kaylee. Move it off of the rubber. Just the solder. You're going to melt it onto there. Now here's the finished product, and don't judge too hard. Remember, these are seven-year-old soldering right here. Uh, not too bad, I did help her out some, but uh, now we're gonna put the shrink wrap on and clean this up, and we will test it out and see how it works. Next thing, what you have to do is use a lighter. Uh, I'll do this part, it's easier for my hands to do it rather than Kaylee's. And you just put the flame underneath the shrink wrap, and watch as it shrinks up. It's like magic. Just wraps tightly right around where we soldered the wires at. Next, we're gonna clean out the inside of this and test it out. Now we're testing it out and thanks for watching everyone.